2023 WASI Integrated Science Practical, there were some surprises as well as questions that were expected. One of the surprises had to do with the question on the graph, which had to do with more concept integrated with graph. And there's nothing like that that had ever been seen in the integrated science practicals. So question one, it had to do with dentition. So you were expected to identify them that is, you write your A and your B here. Then you label the parts. Don't worry about the answers. This is just a review. We'll look at them later on. Then you were also asked to state the function of the part labeled A and then each of the parts labeled. So on the second page, you were expected to state, the, state two observable features. And these observable features are very, you know, you can see them. The, NM, the way the NML is and then the way the roots are. Okay, then so state two activities of humans that affect the parts labeled, the part of B labeled vein. Okay, so you just see that here. Yes, you see that here. Then the next part, the, the topic was on infectious diseases. And you had a weevil here, and then you had a tapeworm here. So you're expected to identify which of them is a pest, which of them is a parasite. Yes, then you name, you name them. Okay, so the C, you are expected to um, identify the organism which can infest the crop. And this is very easy if you know the organism and definitely the origin. So which of the organisms named in A can infest a farm animal? You know that's the point. Name two farm animals which can be infested by the organism named. Okay. Then D, name one kind of damage caused by each of the following. To its host, that is, yes. To, um, that is for the question in um, A. Then draw a label, draw a label a diagram of the life cycle. You are not asked to describe, so just draw, and then you are good to go. Still one method of controlling the labeled C and D. Power topic, this topic dropped in the essay part. As well as you had some of questions like that in the section A, then you had it in a you have it in a section um, that's the practical aspect as well. So you have different electrical components, electrical circuit components, and then you're expected to name them each of them. Name each of them. So you are just asked to identify. Oh, okay, not all of them. Identify I V V V I I M V I I I. You know this is why it's important to read instructions because I missed it. Then you are asked to state the function of a different set. And you are just expected to write your answers in the space given. Make sure your answer is not too lengthy. Then the, you are required to draw a circuit diagram using a set of components listed in C. So you go to C and then you, you draw something. So here you are not writing, you are just drawing. Question for in an experiment to determine the molar concentration of a standard solution in a laboratory, different volumes of standard sodium hydroxide solutions were dried at constant masses. Who below shows dried masses and then the volume. So you're expected to draw a graph here. And this is a question of a kind. I've never seen any question like this in the past or see before. So you are expected to determine the slope and then determine the significance, see the significance of the slope. And from the graph determine the mass. So this you just have to trace. So on the vertical axis, your volume was in centimeter cube, and then your mass was in grams. So you're just supposed to use a unit. You're not supposed to convert anything. Assuming you were working, that's where you were expected to convert. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And check the video description for a video I made some time ago on the power topics, as well as how to answer it's greater science and get your E.